been able to revive the national airline. You witnessed us receiving the four Bombardier aircraft and eventually on the 28th of August last year, 2019, we started the commercial operations. Uh, the purpose of this project is to enhance the country's competitiveness by reducing the cost of air transport and easing connectivity to and from Uganda to promote the tourism industry and contribute to the development of Entebbe Airport as a regional hub. Status of what we have managed to do as per quarter three of the financial year, one Uganda National Airline Company Limited is now operational. We procured the four Sierra J900 Bombardier aircrafts. We have paid, we have made the pre-delivery payments for two air bus aircraft, which was completed. And uh, these, uh, these planes, the international flyers, wide body, are expected in the country by the end of this year. We have been able to carry out expansion of Entebbe International Airport. The purpose of this project is to provide adequate infrastructure and the facilities in order to accommodate current and the future air traffic and the promote service excellence. Uh, the upgrade of the airport includes several components and the overall construction progress, that is phase one, as of now is at 65% against our NDP target of 100%. On the side of rail transport, um, First, we have the construction of the standard gauge rail. This one uh, is a project where government is committed and we already have a contract signed for it, although the operationalization of that contract awaits finalization of the funding arrangement. So uh, the purpose of this project, the standard gauge rail project, is to, to provide first reliable, efficient, and high-capacity transport services to reduce the cost of doing business, increase the region's competitiveness, and expedite economic development and growth. You know, our meter gauge is quite low. It runs the highest it can go is about 60 kilometers per hour. But when we have the standard gauge rail, we can have a train which runs as fast as 120 kilometers. Uh, progress so far, since 2016 to date, 3,629 project affected persons out of the 9,372 affected persons have been compensated. So here we have done quite well. The only problem here is that the resources allocated for compensation or acquisition of right of way have been declining. Through civil works for the reparation of the rail line commenced in February. Three passenger train services remained operational until mid-March when they were grounded because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Financial year 2019-2020, a total of 1,584 kilometers, that is 80% of paved stock will be completed against the National Development Plan target of 2,000. So we're almost there. This includes the core projects and the 418 kilometers completed for financial 2019-2020 as above. Um, one, construction of Soroti, these are the key projects, road projects here. Construction of Soroti Katakui Akisim Road, which is 100 kilometers, to Mbale Buburo Rakaka. 45 kilometers, Siri Mubende Kakumiro Kagadi, 107 kilometers, 4 Bulima Kagoya, 66 kilometers, 5 Chenjojo Kagoya, 100 kilometers. So those are the road construction projects as about the third quarter.